This video is intended to reinforce how QSP QA inspectors are able to update a default task failure reason. This video provides additional clarity on how inspectors can append a note to the default task failure reason when the default reason is mostly correct but needs minor modifications associated with the specific task. Additionally, we will also review how to create a new default task failure reason if in fact the default reason shown isn't correct for the failure. For the purposes of this video, we will also begin on the inspection record. Whenever an inspection task is marked as failed, and we'll do it with the task number two shown here, another window will open to provide additional detail. Additionally, a default task failure reason is assigned by the SQA inspection workflow. There may be cases when the, this default task failure reason needs additional clarity, such as when the tolerance parameters identifying a correct range for inspection. In this case, the inspector will need to append an additional note to the default task failure reason to provide this additional clarity. So after an inspector has marked a task as failed on the resulting window, and associating with the default task failure reason, we will click the edit link under the action column. This will create an additional note space where the inspector can document the changes to the default task failure reason. And you would use this process if the default task failure reason is mostly correct, but the parameters just need some update in terms of what occurred during the inspection. And once a note is documented here, just click Save to append it to the inspection checklist. Additionally, the task failure reason that was defaulted by the system may in fact be completely incorrect. If that's the case, we will document a new task failure reason in the notes section on the second line and we're going to click insert all the way under the action column to insert that to the record. But we do have to turn the first default task failure reason, we have to turn it off and make it not applicable to this particular inspection. So in that case, to turn this off, we would hit the edit link under the action column for the default task failure reason. And we would uncheck the applicable box and then hit save. And as we can see here, the new de default task failure reason that we have supplied is the one that's applicable to this inspection checklist, and it'll be the one that is responded to.